Mr. Frog, step forward, please. Leo graduated from Sunbright in 1961. During his playing years for the Tigers, he was named All-Conference three times, 1959, 1960, and 1961. He was a tailback. After graduation, he joined the U.S. Navy, where he retired after 20 years of service. Then he went to work for the U.S. Postal Service, and he retired after 22 years of postal service. Leo has several ties to the Tennessee Volunteer football team. His son Michael played for the balls along with his nephew Sandy. Also playing was his son-in-law, Kevin Mays, who was an all-SEC guard under coach Philip Moore. Leo now enjoys watching his grandkids continue the success in athletics that he started over 50 years ago. Tiger legend, Leo Frog. Let's give him a big hand. Can you still wear that jersey, Mr. Frog? Our second Tiger legend of tonight is Mr. Howard Dawson. Step forward, Mr. Dawson. Howard graduated from Sunrise in 1959. He played four years at fullback for the Tigers, lettering all four years. He was a team captain in 1958 and 1959. He also was a Golden Gloves champion boxer in the middleweight division. and he got the nickname Black Pony. <laughs> after graduation, Howard went to work for Highland Telephone and retired after 41 and a half years of service. These days you can usually catch Howard in his cabin on Catoosa. He says it's peaceful and a good place to enjoy a nap. Welcome Tiger legend Howard Gosling. Our third Tiger legend of tonight is Herb Judkins. Step forward, Mr. Judkins. Herb graduated from Sunrise High School in 1957 after playing four years with the Tigers. He earned all-conference two years and was team captain his senior year. He was voted Bachelor of Ugliness by his class. <laughs> Herb was also a Golden Gloves champion boxer. After high school, Herb worked for TVA for 24 years and was the pastor of the Bird Church for 31 years. He coached football for five years, all the while being married to his high school sweetheart, Pat. Herb continues to do prison ministry and plays golf every chance he gets. He strives to stay in shape and says he and his wife still work out three times per week. Welcome, Tiger legend, Herb Jett. Our final Tiger legend for tonight, Earl David Christ. Step forward, Mr. Christ. Earl David graduated from Sunrise High School in 1973. He played four years of football and was all-conference in 1972 and 1973. After graduating from high school, he received several scholarship offers to play college football. But Earl decided against funding his football career and joined the workforce. He has farmed with his dad, MC, for most of his life. He is currently employed by the Morgan County Regional Prison in the maintenance department. He continues to operate his barbecue business and also enjoys cooking. We'd like to take this time to let Earl know we appreciate his support for the Tigers over the years. Tiger legend, Earl David Price. That concludes our presentation. Let's give all these men, these men, a big round of applause. Tiger Legend. <laughs> Earl Price, Herb Jenkins, Howard Gosnell, and Leo Brock. Sportsmanship sets apart these schools from all other levels of competition. Your cooperation and support of the values promoted by these two schools, two schools is appreciated. You'll notice it's in a field of We have the captains of the Cody Hill, number 15, Cody Hill, 
Number 52, Logan Sims. Number 59, Cody Lively. And number 60, Kyle Jackson. Also, captains for the Sun Drive Tigers. Number 15, Jesse Eagle. And number 15, number 52, Derek Miller. How many you got? The Tigers have won the call. We think we're fixing to have two more babies at the little one. Big one. And that black one, that big fat black one. Hope you will be receiving. That's right, we'll be beaming off.
Jacob Creel. Third down, five yards to go.
First and ten, Yellow Jackets. Mm -hmm. It's a 48-yard line.
Taking off of the Packers number 52, Derrick Miller.
You got him there?
Beckham, by number three, Tyler Langley. First and ten, Wilbert Zia, courtesy of WECO. 101.3, that's all. Here's the ball for the Cowboys. Here's the ball for the Cowboys. That hole by number 54, Jacob Creel. Also in on the play, number five, David Hennis. Second down, one yard to go. For the yellow down. <laughs> Yeah. 
pass. Number 15, Jesse Ingram, goes incomplete. Broken up by number 22, Seth Francis.
big four. Second down, 13 yards to go. For the other jacket, it's four point six seven. Tigers from the 35-yard line. 